One Star Rewind. All right, everybody, welcome back to One Star Rewind here at Rogue Media Network. I am here with my good friends, Devin and Jaja. Thank you for coming on One Star Rewind. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem, no problem. I uh, admittedly, we've been trying to schedule this and it's been my fault like 18 times. I've had to reschedule it and you guys are uber busy, two locations, like a few businesses, like doing all this stuff. So I really appreciate you being flexible and making time to come on the show. And you're the one who with the 18 business. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the insane one. Uh, well, cool. Well, hey, well, before we dive into the review, uh, we always like to start with getting to know the business owners. So please, you know, give us the, the quick version, maybe about the two of y'all. And then um, after that, tell us about uh, how Cha Community started and then we'll get into the review. Yeah, so my name is Jaja Chen. I am a second generation Taiwanese American. And I came to Waco originally to study at Baylor. I did both my undergrad and master's in social work. Oh, yeah. And then eventually stayed in the community um, to pursue licensure in clinical social work. And so I'm now uh, practicing as a private practice therapist. Great. And that was something we did even before uh, starting our small business. And so I was already uh, serving in social work there. And Great. so uh, Devin is, and I met at Baylor actually in undergrad. Cool. Yeah, no, and, and my, so my wife does social work too. And it, I know there's all like the acronym, acronyms, right? It's like LMCW or LMSW yes. or all the things. Uh, but I remember at Startup, you had had Startup Waco, that, that's kind of where you had your, you, maybe you had an office before that, Jaja, but I remember. Uh, that was actually where I launched my where you private launched it. practice. Okay. So yeah, cool. yeah. So um, that was the year before the pandemic. And yep. so then I um, was really excited to be involved in the downtown community. Yeah, that's great. Cool. Yeah. My name is Devin. Uh, I'm a child of Chinese immigrants. So I came from, immigrated from China uh, to be with my dad at the age of 13. I moved from Guangzhou, China to Houston. Um, and I went to middle school, high school in Houston, and I came to Waco for Baylor. Cool. And then I studied, went to school for mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. Um, so I did that for a year. Uh, I worked as an engineer for a few years after college. And then I moved back to Waco, transitioned into teaching. Yeah. High school teaching. And then. You were at university? In yeah. School, okay. Waco cool. SD. Yeah. And then I started, you know. We started Chaw Community yeah. or Waco Chaw when I was a teacher cool. at the farmer's market as a side gig. Yeah. It eventually became our main gig. Cool. Well, that's perfect transition, Devin. So you go, we start farmer's market. So tell us from that transition to now two locations, you know, like the food side, the drink side. So how did we... How do we progress to where we're at now? Yeah, so summer 2018 is when we launched our pop-up tent at okay. the Waco Downtown Farmers Market. And that was um, just a little 10 by 10 tent where we only had boba tea okay. and a few options. I think at that point it was like four mm. or five drink options. That okay. was it. And then we did that for a full year. Cool. And after a year at the farmer's market, then um, was able to use some of the profit from the markets to then upgrade to cool. a mobile tea truck. Yeah. And that really opened up opportunities to be outside of just Saturdays yeah. to do catering and events yeah. and even other pop-ups throughout the community. Yeah. And so then about seven months after the mobile tea truck is when we, as in Devin and I, and some of the team was starting to face this issue of feeling like, okay, we really need our own kitchen space because yeah. we were working out of a shared kitchen space Space and yeah. just running short of storage yeah. and just getting to a place where we're like, wow, okay, we're having a lot more opportunities, but we can't grow unless we have our own space. Yeah, definitely. Yes. And so that's when we started looking for a potential of space, you know, for our first storefront. Cool. Okay. Okay. Wait, before we take the next step, when you started, so we were all at the farmer's market, yes. how, how were there places in, I'm trying to recall, like, were there other places serving boba tea back then or was there like a st i mean you know you go to some of these bigger cities you're there's mm -hmm. like your chains and the ones that yeah. people go to it, was there any in yeah. waco then I think, um uh, there was Quay a Quat. few where maybe they're oh. mainly a restaurant with an ad yeah, on yeah you're boba. right okay yeah, yeah. yeah but there was one zero two okay and that uh january i think like similar time frame oh, okay uh -huh. got you all right cool i was just i couldn't remember how that panned out or when 102 
opens. But yeah, okay, cool. Okay, mm-hmm. so uh, brick and mortar that opened. When did was that during the so pandemic? So the brick or? and mortar is a crazy story because we uh, were starting, you know, all the construction. Finally, got the health department approved. <laughs> yeah, and that was actually the same week that shelter in place occurred. Oh my goodness! So we were all the day. set. Jeez. We were set, you know, like prior to that, <laughs> we were set to like discuss oh. grand opening, getting so excited yeah. to finally move in. And then, you know, oh. we had to close. Oh, well, we no. didn't even open, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, you hadn't even opened so, yet. So we couldn't oh. even open. So, sure. um, so what we ended up doing was we actually continued operating in our food truck okay. and just parked in front of Milo's cool. as opposed to uh, kind of just jumping straight into yeah. the storefront. So yeah. we used the kitchen okay. and just continued the same kind of operations yeah. we had up to that point. Gotcha. Because Milo, because yeah. for everyone that doesn't, I mean, you're at 11th and Franklin yes. or ish around there. So Milo was kind of across the A street. Lot, yeah. So not... So you had your truck there and it wasn't too far. Yes. So people could visualize like where you were going to be. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that was a very challenging time with just trying to manage COVID and policies and all the shutdowns and just, you know, trying to also start in the new storefront Mm -hmm. and all of that. So, yeah, for sure. Okay. So then eventually though, it gets open and what, and I know I'm kind of jumping ahead, but we'll get to the review, but what, at what point was it like, let's start to look at the second location. Like, you know, I think, which is one of the coolest aspects, I think of what y'all do, because it, and I can speak personally to this, it is super hard to do another location in, mm-hmm. uh, outside of like the Waco limits. Like, and I'm not putting people down that have their second location in Hewitt or Woodway, that's still a challenge. But if you need to go do something, it's it's a 10 minute drive or whatever. And, you know, now being in Temple, I guess I'll spoil the lead, but your second location, when did that, like, when did you guys have the confidence to do it? When did you feel like you had the team to, to, to pull that off? I mean, I, it's just been so cool. Seeing yeah. That. Yeah. I think it was, uh, after opening the store for a year. Yes. Okay. So we've been in Waco for a year cool. and already had the food operations going there. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so the store was getting stable, stabilized, yeah. and we we're like doing well. Yeah. And then I guess my senior manager at that time, I think she was a little bit bored looking okay. for things to do. <laughs> 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 and then uh, I think I was reading some research about entrepreneurship. Like cool. entrepreneurs go through a stage when they sure. think they're invincible. Oh yeah. They can do oh, anything. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's where I was at that time. <laughs> yeah. Looking back, honestly, the main areas that drew us to Temple was because we had already had multiple catering requests. Sure from Belton area, local colleges, and mm-hmm. also um, I think we did a few catering at Temple High School. Mm-hmm. And so then the travel of 35 minutes yeah. with Boba taking about two hours for prep, it mm-hmm. just became challenging to meet all the requests. Yeah. And so we thought like, well, if we had a location there, mm-hmm. then it would really prevent you know, that lag and the inability, you know, that issue of not being able to fulfill yeah, exactly the catering needs that yeah. are out there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. No. And I get it's a really it's a growing downtown. Like we've we've been down there. I would love the shop. We we uh, Lauren and I, my wife will go to Trento's that pizza place down there. And like, great. You know, a lot of kids can play around there. stuff too. I mean, so downtown Temple is really starting to come up the development with um Oh, it's like the hotel they're they're redoing down there yeah. and stuff. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you guys, like, I, I think you've you've hit it. I think yeah. this is a perfect time to be yeah. down there. There's a, their own version of Union Hall that's yeah. coming up. Yeah, later this year. That'd be cool. And our neighbors like barbecue shop. Cool slash yeah axe throwing. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, Bla- Black is it Black Axe? Axe? Yeah yeah. So. yeah. They have a, I mean a cool trailer and I know Thomas uh, our partners with Waco Axe I knows him pretty well. So that'd be fun. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, enough chit chat. Are we ready? Yeah. We're going to dive in. Okay, I'm going to make my really bad rewind sound, okay? Okay, because we're going back in time and we're going to rewind. Okay. All right, y'all, we're going to read this review. Um, we do a little bit of the backstory here, just what we can see. So, Isabella is her name. You can see this review on Google. Uh, she has oh okay she has a picture so I, again i know this sounds stupid but i always do this so th- there's a picture on here it tells me not a 
maybe like a fake Google account. She probably actually uses this account. Uh, she's left 14 reviews. Uh, did you guys check? Like, did, sometimes you can you can click on there. Oh, yeah, and we see. did. You kind of did? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, done two photos. That's interesting. So th she's involved on this account. So um, this was left 11 months ago. So was this... This was pre-temple uh, location? Yeah, yeah. yeah and all, it was in the midst no of the, I believe, Delta, or was it midst of Delta? It was in the midst of a wave of COVID. A wave, yeah, yeah 11 which months ago. Addressed, uh, the, that's kind of leading into the review. Yeah, that's true, yeah, she uh -huh. mentioned that in here. Okay, all right, here we go, you ready? Okay, Isabella says, uh, the last time I went, I got uh, a bug leg in my drink which is very disgusting. And when I told them, they giggled very unprofessional. The last two times I went, I got hair. The last two times I went, I got hair in my drink. Ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. They don't use hairnets nor gloves, especially since COVID is still around. I love Waco Cha and their drinks, but I love Waco Cha and their drinks, but I'm scared to go back and it's disgusting how nasty stuff keeps ending up in my drinks. End of review. Okay, what happened, Devin and Jaja? Talk to me about this review. I think, to my knowledge, I did follow on my manager. I remember on this. Okay, uh, and then, and then she's she's the first. One. I was like, we didn't laugh. Yeah, we didn't laugh at all. <laughs> um, and then, and then we offered to make a make make another drink. From yeah. my knowledge, if I remember right, sure, okay, another drink. Yeah, and offered it, and I believe that she, I was told that I think. She took the drink and finished the first one too. <laughs> oh, okay. well, didn't you say it was that they brought in the completed drink, showed it to them, and then y'all remade it? Remade it yeah. yeah, so okay. so preface, both of us were not involved in yeah, this. Yeah, situation. you weren't there. So we okay. later on asked yeah. the manager, right? Sure, like yeah. what was going mm -hmm. on? Okay. And then, um, and I was told that the customer did come back. Okay. Within a few days again. <laughs> to, to after, this after, after this review. After this review. Because they yes. love. Well, that was the first. I mean, that was the first thing that I got from this review was like how many times they frequent Waco Cha. And I'm just like, they clearly love it. You know, I mean, they've said, you know, every time, you know, the last two times that would insinuate they've been here three times. They've been there after that four. I mean, they clearly love coming. Yes, Which is yes. And the biggest thing we want to address is that we don't actually believe it was big leg. Sure. Even though, of course, we can't 100% say yeah. that because we weren't there physically Definitely. to see. For sure. But our manager who was there was trying to explain to them that, you know, we use loose leaf tea. And so okay. they were are pretty sure it was a loose leaf tea. Oh, okay. Which yeah. is very Which, thin, scraggly yeah. leaf. Right? Could look like a bug leg mm -hmm. easily, for sure. Yeah, I mean, like the... You know, when you work at restaurants and you, people always see like a little hair or something like that, it's again, it's like you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. But then it's like, well, was that your hair or did that fall off your head and into mm -hmm. there? Or I, I don't know. And it could have been a bug leg or not. Yeah. Do you think and maybe I'll ask this question. Does this happen often that people like maybe not fake something, but might try to get a free drink or something uh -huh. like that? And, and and then it's like, oh, is that really a bug uh, leg or whatever? With our company, I think maybe because our mission values, like sure. our we almost have zero yeah. bad customer stories. Yeah, yeah. I know it's a very common yeah. in food. Yeah, retail. like at this yeah. shop, we only have two one-star yeah. reviews. W which is yeah. like, and food and drink is like immaculate. Because yeah, after being four years yeah. in the industry. Yeah. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah, we incredible. really have no bad stories at all for any customers, really. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's why when we got this review, because I think this was one of our first one star reviews, we were very surprised. It was kind of sure. like, oh, okay. wonder what happened. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. and I and I like um, and I we didn't get the you had responded to it, which I love. Um, yes, I I think of all the uh, shows we've done so far with one star, it's probably thirty percent of the time of the people that I've interviewed, the owners or managers have like replied to the reviews. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's really cool. Yeah, we reply to every single one yeah. of our reviews, even the positive yeah. ones or yeah. the five star ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, just to show the gratitude towards folks taking the time, you know, sure. to give the feedback. Cause we actually mm -hmm. take every single review very seriously mm -hmm. and give the feedback to our team and it helps us to grow. So I feel like even this yeah. one, 
even though it was like kind of like a one offer, we did kind of look into, okay, making sure, you know, if, is it bug leg, you know, mm-hmm. making sure even with like the loose leaf tea yeah. straining that we do even more diligent job with making sure, sure we strain out all yeah. the yeah. Um, loose leaf tea so that it's not even mistaken for something sure. else. Yes. That it could yeah. be anything besides uh-huh. just a loose, loose leaf mm-hmm. tea. Yeah. Um, okay. So they talk about the hair nets and the gloves especially with COVID. Yeah, yeah so that you, one I'm like, well, that's not even. <laughs> well, so yeah. you pre-make, yes. well, and I, you don't have to go into the whole process, yes. but you, you, you probably make, um, you probably pre-make something, right? And then, and then, then depending on what drink flavors they get, so, uh, cause I'm thinking like, do you need it? Well, not really. No, because yeah, we're I, a cafe. Yeah. So you never see anybody in never, a coffee yeah. shop with hair nets or gloves because it's drink or beverage. Yeah, it's yeah, beverage. So it's only if you're yeah. touching the food mm-hmm. and then... Yeah. Like if you're handling food, sure. right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And yeah. We never touch any tea, of course. Yeah. Um, not yeah. even the straw. The straw yeah, because they're just pouring like, it into mm-hmm. the cup. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you think they... They've been to your place several times, so it's like... Every every one star review, for the most part, is like just this emotional. Like they're a little frustrated. Something happened there, or there was miscommunication. That's not probably here, but like, do you think like the uh, the the line ridiculous, utterly ridiculous, makes me feel like they're just like hot right now. Like they not uh, thinking through it maybe enough because they love coming. And then like the hairnet thing, that's like again, it's not even really necessary to need it in that setting, but they like to throw it on here mm-hmm. to kind of pile on. Mm-hmm. I, I, I feel like it's just like sometimes these reviews, they just kind of like, they they start going down these rabbit trails and it kind of makes mm-hmm. it a little unfair mm-hmm. in, in some ways. But um, I don't know, has anybody ever brought up like gloves and hair nets or anything like that? To no. 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 Yeah. No. Yeah, and also even for COVID, it's not really transmitted through touch. Yeah, for sure. Really yeah, nice. and like all our team members at that time were wearing masks. Mm-hmm. Like we we've had actually mask requirements even when it wasn't mandated. Yes, so, for sure. you know, that was something we took very seriously. Yeah. I get it. I love it. Um yeah, I mean and then they you know, they end it here. I mean, they love they love Waco Cha. I like how they they have to throw that in because they do love it, right? And I and I'm sure this like and she just had to leave this review. I, I I don't know, but she had to still say she loves it. Um, do you get people that have like emailed beforehand to say like, oh hey, I was unhappy about how this or that or whatever, as opposed to them? And obviously, you don't have a lot of one stars. But uh-huh. uh, do you get like people trying to reach out to you first before they? Yeah. Oh yeah. And so, we prefer that because yeah. then you can actually yeah. address it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. One time, similar story. One customer felt like. She felt like, I think I got a piece of, uh, like a glove, plastic, whatever, in my mouth. Okay. And I was like, oh, that's just, that's actually a piece of tea leaves. Sure. Because, like, the green tea, sometimes when you, in your mouth, yeah, it feels like a piece of plastic. Yeah. So I explained it. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Okay. And stuff like that. Or Sure. I think last week, somebody reached out. I was like, hey, when I got my dumplings, the dumplings are kind of cold. Mm. And I was like, oh, let me figure it out. And then as soon as I asked, it's like, oh, yeah. the warmer one sure. plugged in. Okay. Um, yeah. So we apologize, and then they're like, "Oh, it's okay." Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think the hugest thing is that, like, you know, we want to make the situation right, and it can be hard with like a Google review mm-hmm. or Facebook review. It's like what happens. I've in my experience is that folks will leave it, yeah. and then even when we respond, it's like you never hear from them yeah. ever again, For and sure. so that can be hard because it's like, yeah. well, we need more information, or mm-hmm. we can't really refund because we can't find your name, yeah. and so then how can we really do anything to remedy the situation yeah. um, unless yeah. you actually kind of communicate with us. Totally. So we would always prefer, you know, for folks to address mm-hmm. it either in person or yeah. on the phone or even through email or DMs yeah, yeah, totally. on social media. Yeah. Well, and then those are ways I think yeah. you're actually helping the business. Like you're actually giving them feedback or wanting the business to be better and all this stuff. The review, which, which I know I guess is supposed to be doing that, never feels like that. It always just feels more negative, especially when it's like, you know, it's a small business. It's family owned. This isn't uh, Chick Fil A. This isn't this huge. Where like, you know, you get a one a one star review. You know, millions of people mm, go to these places mm-hmm. every day across the country. Mm-hmm. When it's like, man, this one review, someone could look at this and may dictate 
oh, I'm going to go somewhere else then, you know, where in reality, this isn't indicative of what the experience is really like. And so it's like, man, just send those emails or send those DMs and, and really give feedback that way, as opposed to kind of just putting the store on blast, you know, uh, I get it if they're if maybe sometimes the establishment kind of has earned that one star. Maybe they're disregarding their customers. Yeah, like but. if they let's say if somebody has tried to deal with it with mm -hmm. the manager or has tried to resolve it and sure. still yeah. didn't. Yeah. At that point, it's yeah. like okay, yeah, maybe sure. a one star could be valid. It could yeah. be, yeah. We're like if it mm -hmm. really was a bug leg and the staff was like pointing and laughing in their face and was like, drink it. Like, we're not going to give you another one or something like that. Like, totally. Like a harassment situation. Yeah, yeah. something like that. We're like, uh -huh. they need to, their, their customers almost warning people, don't go to this place, this happens. This is clearly not what's going on here. So, I don't know. That's why reviews are always frustrating, yet it's good to kind of like talk through them, hash them out, see what happened or whatever. But, um, no, but you know. even the human psychology of it is interesting, right? You yeah. You spend $10 and you feel like you've been betrayed and... sure or lie to you or something yeah. and yeah but then i feel like so much of it i think after becoming a business, small business owner i became more gracious yeah it's, it's actually a skill it how is. to give feedback sure uh yeah in a useful way mm -hmm. yeah and you know yeah, like in a way that there will be resolution yeah or can uh -huh. we tell Corey this sure. this podcast is not good yeah it's trash you know, you know and i i'm sure. the wrong way but i don't give yeah. any why reason yeah how suggestions yep. and you know sometimes a small business owner not yeah. all suggestions are mm -hmm. helpful yeah you know yeah so and sometimes you some they'll give suggestions and you're like mm -hmm. like you know you're nod your head politely like okay thank you you know they may not be helpful but it, you're right it's always better like give some feedback don't just say oh this is bad or it's like okay give me i, I always make our, our team it's like if there's something negative going on mm -hmm. okay let's mm -hmm. talk about it but balance it out there mm -hmm. there's a positive like what's positive something good and you know we'll fix through the bad things yeah. but there i feel like when you're you just hit on those all the time it just creates a bad atmosphere yeah. but we have some positive ex experience too so for example we had a one yelp experience mm. the customers complaining about how oh there was these seeds in passion fruit tea okay and then so i went on there uh so square is nice in a way that sometimes you can communicate with Oh, with okay. the customer sure if you ask for permission yeah so i sent a text explained it apologized i was like yeah this is just how it's traditionally made it mm -hmm. has passion for seeds so some customer may not be used to it yeah and then um but she wasn't able to drink it right away i mm. think she drank it after she got into the car and drove okay some few, few minutes after huh. so i explained it and then we offer a free drink yeah over text okay and then and then she changed it back to five star. Oh. Yeah, that was our Whoa. first experience where it was a two star review. Wow. And then it got updated to five star and they even gave the feedback on our great customer service yes. and being able to address it in a proper way. Man. And that was super encouraging. That's huge. I don't yeah. I haven't had anybody on. We almost never that. see that happen. That never happens because yeah. they just they don't want to take the time, like even if the owner's reached out and has done all the things, it's like, just, just you, you know, I've, I've gone this far to try to resolve uh -huh. it. You just give, give me five minutes or even two minutes to go on, change the review. Yeah. Cause I oh, think a lot incredible. of times folks don't realize that like, oh, okay. When you're doing these reviews, it's like, it goes mm -hmm. straight to us. Like we, the owners sure. on our cell phone, yeah. we'll get a notification. Yeah. We will see it immediately yeah. unless we turn off that notification. And mm -hmm. so it, it's like, because we're a small business, it's mm -hmm. like, we take it very seriously sure. yeah. and it really does affect, you know, our business. What, what if it was something yeah. like, uh, there's probably so many holes in this, but what if it, what if you got this notification? Like, I don't know, once every month after you left a one star that was like, does this business still deserve this one star? Like, go on and edit your review if you don't think so. I do like that or idea. Or something like that. Like a follow-up. Like a follow-up yeah. and say, like, hey, just to let you know, you, you can still change. And maybe they're like, no, like, it's still a one star. But maybe they're like, well... Actually, like, to I, kind of prompt them? Yeah, that would be like, really well, interesting. Well, I went back, and actually, it was pretty good the second time, so I'll do a three star. Or like, I wonder if that would... I don't know. Again, there's probably holes in that, but... Uh, okay, so we did, we did our rewind. We talked about when the review happened. Uh... Talking about present, uh, figuring out what was going on. So future, did this review, you know, again, it was 11 months ago, but did it affect how you, how, how y'all do business? Did it affect, um, 
you know, uh, anything that goes on in the, in the kitchen with like monitoring the leaves better or, or was it just like, Hey, this is just one of those weird anomaly ones mm -hmm. and we don't need to, uh, you addressed it, but you don't need to change how you do business. Uh, yeah. Um, I think there are some ones. So for example, I think Temple shop, one customer reached out and is like, Hey, I don't want to leave a negative review, but mm -hmm. here's what happened. The book was extra hard this time. And then, so I took the review and ensure with our manager, store manager, like, hey, can we make sure uh, maybe it was just the early, the first month, like first two weeks. Yeah. Maybe that just, we didn't do a good job. Like, can we ensure, yeah. uh, you know, we make proper amount of boba so it doesn't turn hard and mm -hmm. get old. Okay. So stuff like that. So we did okay. make adjustment. Okay. Um, but for this one, I don't think, so other than, so I think the main thing we followed up with was just making sure we strain the loose leaf tea better, okay. you know, especially yeah, when we're brewing right. it. Sure. Because we do such big batches. So just making yeah. sure that there's not yeah. um, as much, which we were already doing that, but it was just more like a reminder yeah. to folks. Um, yeah, sure, sure. And then, I mean, nothing else really change because we have already had even at that point monthly pest control mm -hmm. like we already do yeah. regular deep clean so yeah, yeah. it's like those practices were already yeah. there yeah you're not doing uh -huh. extra things on top of it uh -huh. it's like you're already doing really good in that, mm -hmm. in that way so okay well cool um all right final thing you know how we end it do you remember <laughs> if i was isabella i'm right here i'm in the studio with the both of you and you get one final word what do you say is there anything that comes to mind that you would like to say to isabella right now um i mean i was like i'm sorry to hear your experience <laughs> yeah is, i mean this rarely happens yeah and, you know, please come see us again <laughs> okay yeah, yeah i would tell I'll, isabella I'll treat you free tea. <laughs> yeah yeah like come get your free tea that's still isabella. hanging in there from a year ago right <laughs> okay thanks I'll, I'll come get my tea i'll be right there well not just yeah. that but i think the hugest thing is hey isabella we'd love to just have a conversation because yeah. we never were able sure. to actually talk with you or to ever hear back from you yeah. following this uh event and we even heard from our manager's understanding, you came back following this mm -hmm. one star review. So it's like, we would love to hear how your subsequent experiences have been. <laughs> yeah. So then if you can go back and even change that review, awesome. Sure. Or, you know, if that still is the case, please tell us yeah. so that we can make sure that we address I, what needs to happen. I have a feeling she's been back multiple times. I, I don't know that I, I sometimes like to make assumptions on the show. I, I think she's probably been back. I, I don't think a little leg or tea, whatever she thought it was, like has held her back. I think she loves Waco Cha. She said it. <laughs> she loves Waco Cha. So, uh, but anyway, well, cool. Devin, Jaja, thank you so much for coming on One Star Rewind. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, y'all. See ya. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.